it is concerning the Taiwan-China situation. And tensions are on the rise in East Asia. China's aggressive muscle flexing around Taiwan has reached a tipping point. Taiwan says with Beijing increasing its military activities, the situation could spiral and get out of hand any moment. For the self-rule island that China claims to be a part of, its own territory says that Beijing's increased maneuvering could spark in accidental clashes. Now, for the past two weeks, China has been trying to assert its sovereignty in the region. A series of Chinese drones, fighters, bombers and aircraft have been circling around Taiwan. Earlier on Friday, 24 Chinese military aircraft entered Taiwan's air defense identification zone, out of which at least 17 crossed the median line of the Taiwan Strait. China has also been trying to create a terror in the sea. Its warship and carrier, the Shadong, has been operating in South China Sea. Last week, China also dispatched more than 100 military ships for regional exercises. While China's southern and eastern theater commands have been operating together off Taiwan's east coast. Taiwan's defense minister says in such a scenario of heightened risk, both the sides must pay attention. While China's Shandong was first spotted by Taiwan on September 11th, that is when it was participating in war stimulation drills. China is now displaying its ability to operate farther away from its own coastline. It has been operating now near Taiwan's east coast. Now the thing to note here is that Taiwan's traditional military planning has been confined to eastern coast, where its two major air bases are located. And this is the area that does not face China directly. But China is now showing that this area is not beyond its reach. In the last 24 hours, China has dialed down according to Taiwan, which says it would not escalate the situation, but at the same time, not allow repeated provocations from China.